Hi folks, it's Eleanor again. Uh, welcome back to my channel and this is my November book haul. If I try and lift up the entire pile without spilling them, hang on, I'll disappear. Woo! Once again, a lot of books. Uh, thankfully this time at least a couple of them aren't going on my TBR because they're books I've already read and they're books that I just wanted physical copies of. Um, most of them are new books, but there's a few second-hand ones and those are the ones that I'll well no I'll start with my audiobooks actually because I think I bought purchased three audiobooks um, in November and they were Heartless, Timeless and Etiquette and Espionage by all by Gail Carragher. Um, this is part of my you know, rereading binge that I went through for Gail Carragher novels trying out all the um, audiobooks so yeah those are fun. Um, I'm just going to go start off with the books that I bought second hand. I found these three books in the pop-up Lifeline bookstore that was in the middle of Canberra. Um, I think it's still there. Tiddles book, couldn't resist. Um, it's an author that I have known about but never read and have been kind of intimidated by but there was an entire trilogy so I thought I would pick them up. And that is these books by Robin Hobb. They are the Assassin, no, the Farseer trilogy. Um, I've got no idea where that sits in Robin Hobb's sort of oeuvre. Like I said, there's so many books and they are so big that I've been intimidated by them until now. Um, and I have no idea when I'm going to have a chance to sit down and read these, but it was an entire trilogy for six bucks. So, you know, I couldn't resist that. So these are, hang on, Assassin's Apprentice. Royal Assassin. And Assassin's Quest. So all three books in the Farseer trilogy. Um, so hopefully, maybe maybe in January when I have a week off work before I go back to work, um, maybe I'll try and read them then. I don't know. It depends what mood I'm in. Um, so now the rest of the books which I have bought uh, in hard copy. Um, so we have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. I bought this after... I, I need to get rid of that sticker actually. I bought this after I went to see it because you know it was a sweet movie. I really enjoyed it and it's a gorgeous looking book with you know it's hardback and the blue and the gold and it's just beautiful. So yeah I'll pick that up and read that at some stage. Um, this is another absolutely gorgeous book. Um, this is called Irish Fairy and Folk Tales um, and it's a little compendium Leather bound, well, faux, it um, might be faux leather bound. I can't, I'm not sure if it's faux leather or actual leather, but it's absolutely beautiful in green and gold and silver. And like the edges of the pages are gold edged. Um, it's just gorgeous. And I'll, you know me, I love fairy tales and folk tales. Um, and so it's all these sort of collected um, by various authors, including like anonymous authors of Irish fairy tales. So I'm forward to picking that up at some point and learning some more about Irish fairy tales. This I picked up because I've been looking for it most of the year and I finally found a copy. So this is The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. Um, I read one of the stories in this collection. Um, this collection is from the 80s if I'm remembering correctly. But one of the stories which was a uh, Red Riding Hood fairy, uh, retelling um, was part of my reading for one of my classes earlier in the year and I really enjoyed it and so I wanted to pick up the rest of the collection. It's just a little collection and as from what I'm aware of it's a sort of a classic set of feminist and kind of horrifying um, fairy tale retellings but yeah I'm really looking forward to having a chance to read that. Next up we have the two books that are not going on my TBR shelf so you know they're just going directly to my normal shelves. So I have The Double Life of James Tiptree, sorry no, James Tiptree Jr. The Double Life of Alice B. Sheldon by Julie Phillips. I read this biography last year as part of Galactic Suburbia's celebration of what would have been Alice B. Sheldon's um, 100th birthday and this is an amazing biography. I borrowed a copy from the library um, which is why I, when I finally saw it on uh, Book Depository I picked up this copy because it's amazing. It's an amazing piece of research, it's an amazing piece of writing, it's an amazing story about an amazing woman. Um, 
uh, you, know, you know me, I love Tip Tree. Um, and, you know, her story is just fascinating and heartbreaking and so interesting. So, yeah, I really wanted my own copy, so I picked that up from Book Depository. And also, at the same time on Book Depository, they finally had hard copies of Her Smoke Rose Up Forever, the uh, SF Masterworks collection of James Tiptree Jr.'s writing, which I've also read. I have it on ebook, but I really wanted a hard copy. So they, and I'll, it's, I've never seen a hard copy. I've been looking for one. Um, and like I said, Book Depository finally had it. So I picked it up. So this is a collection of the majority of James Tiptree Jr. slash Rakuna Sheldon's uh, short fiction. Um, it's not all of it, I don't think, but it's seriously everything important, like all the important stuff. Um, there, you know, it's her stories are amazing. Um, they really are. Like I read it, like I said, I read it last year in celebration of her 100th birthday, and the way James Victor Jr. wrote gender, the way um, she wrote the human race, it's depressing. Like there is, you, d I can't even think really of. There are very few James Tiptree Jr. or Rakuna Sheldon stories that have a hopeful or happy ending. They're heartbreaking, they are terrifying, they are brutal, but they are so, so good and they are so, so true, even if they are science fiction. So I picked up my own hard copy of this and I really recommend it. Okay, and then I have a graphic novel. This is volume two of The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Um, Squirrel, You Know It's True by Ryan North and Erica Henderson. Um, you know, I've reviewed the previous volume um, recently and I really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to reading this second volume and I couldn't help but pick it up in hard copy, even though hard copy comics are really expensive in Australia. Um, so yeah, really hope, looking forward to that. Now this I bought on a whim and believe it or not, it is Jane Austen that I have never read. This is Love and Friendship and Other Youthful Writings, which is a collection of some of, of um, Love and Friendship, which I believe was the s novel that she, sort of novella novel thing that she wrote, I think when she was very young um, in her teens and never quite got published. It's not considered one of the main oeuvre of her novels. And this also, this edition also has a bunch of the other short fiction and letters and stuff that she wrote when she was a teenager. Um, and a young woman so you know I'm really actually looking forward to picking this up because it's Jane Austen that I've never read and that doesn't come around very often and this I also picked up on a whim when I was having a bad day this is Tales from the Kingdoms by Sarah Pinsborough I'm not sure if I Sarah Pinsborough's name is familiar but I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this book but it's gorgeous and it is uh, retellings of Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. And as I've already said in this video, you know I love a good fairy, ta fairy tale or a fairy tale retelling. Um, and the back says Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Stories you love and that we all think we know. But why would a prince fall in love with a woman in a coffin? Why would a queen poison her stepdaughter? And what is a fairy godmother's real motivation? So... It sounds like a lot of fun, and so I'm looking forward to picking that up at some time. And hopefully my stack of books is not going to fall over. And then the last one that I picked up, which I've been had my eye on for a while and never actually found a copy of, is Doctor Who Time Lord Fairy Tales. Again, my fairy tale obsession, and I also have a Doctor Who obsession, so what better than a collection of Time Lord Fairy Tales? You know, 15 tales of ancient wonder and mystery passed down through generations of Time Lords. Why could I not? It's also a beautiful hardback edition and with, you know, the gold, you know, highlights on it. And I just love it and I can't wait to read it. And that is what I bought in November. So that was, again, a lot of books. I think 12 in physical copy and 3 in um, audio form. So, you know, 15 books again. I really need to get a hold on my buying practices. If it helps, I haven't actually bought any books for myself yet this month in December. We'll see how we go. I'll be getting books for Christmas, believe you me. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's my November book haul. Um, you'll probably get a couple of other random videos of me in, over the next week. Um, probably only one more this month, actually, because I 
in on the 21st I'm going down to Tasmania and my parents don't have they have internet but they don't have a lot of it so I probably won't record any videos while I'm down there so um, yeah you'll probably get at least one more video next weekend and then we'll see what happens um, but yeah hope you enjoyed that let me know if you've read any of those books and enjoyed them um, or if you've got any suggestions about which ones I might read first and I will see you again soon bye